Welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to create this dress and this is our inspiration from this dress. This dress my customer paid $300 from China and she wanted to redesign it into something couture. So I am so excited to work on this project and I want to show you the look before and then we can start working and transform this dress into something unique. So this is the back side. As you see, you have a long tail. It's so huge. It's literally almost doesn't fit in my studio, but it's fun project and I'm excited to work on. So first, what we're gonna start to do on the dress is to remove all these sequins on the dress. We also need to add lining and we're gonna remove these cups and change it into the 10 color. We also gonna remove some of the sequins from the sleeves, probably all of them because it's scratching her. So we wanna redesign it into more with 3D flowers and we will leave um, on the skirt all these sequins, but we are gonna get rid with the one from the edge. As you see, they are, uh, they've been so not really quality, but uh, that's gonna be extra sequins for us to add back on the body part so let's get started here is the view of the train and as you see the lining is shorter than actually the skirt so she want the dress to be white so we have to add all these longer fabric another layer of lining to match the length of the skirt and same thing we will remove some of the sequin stuff that we want a clean uh, edge and then the sparkle will come more and less next what we want to do so it fits her very well but she wanted to add uh, let's say a corset back she, we're gonna leave the zipper only to the skirt and up here we're gonna leave uh, we're gonna add uh, some uh, corset loops that will match her uh, dress and then we We'll start working on it. I am so excited about this project, so let's get started. So all the sequins are removed and after that now I'm going to start working on the corset and at the same time I have to do the pattern for the sleeves. I have to cut these bits because it's really uh, bothering her so we want to make sure uh, it doesn't stay here and then we want to design uh, sleeves. So we're going to start working on and do. Removing this sequence part, it wasn't the easy part. They were sewed with the fishing line. It's very thin, clear line. So you have to be very careful when removing so you will not ruin the fabric that is under. So now what I'm gonna do, see, I'm just gonna remove the zipper and I'm gonna remove the zipper until the waist. So this part is gonna be our corset. And then here I'm gonna add some hook and eye and she's gonna hook it together. So, so far this is um, our progress. Okay, so now what I'm working on it is, as you see, I remove all the sequins that were on the upper part. And now I'm working on making actually the pattern of the dress because I want to add lining inside to make sure it's not see-through because we're going to still add something here, but we want to make sure it's white. So uh, this is how I make the pattern. Just want to show you. So... I just put it on mannequin and I make sure it's smooth and pin it and this is uh, the first part of the pattern. So let's get started and work. <laughs> 
Don't forget the front part have a folding line. So what I did, I did trace all around and then I fold it and make it exactly same seam. Our pattern is ready and I'm gonna start on the corset. I'm gonna make sure to add the corset loops right between the layers and I will pin them first. But I did finish the uh, zipper until the waistline and closed it already. So at the same time, I will add the top stitch on the corset. So the 3D flowers arrived and the pattern is ready to get the lining. And I'm waiting for the lining to come. The lining is here. And the dress is ready so let's get started the corset is ready and now i am ready to start working on the lining the lining is satin very thin one and that will be perfect for the lining that we want to add on the dress and first i will start uh, building first pattern for the skirt here it is the lining is ready even like that it looks already good so now i'm just gonna cut the second part of the lining of the back side and front side and then we can sew together and add it uh, between the layers of course surging the edges and also to press for the great quality and here how my sew machine looks with sewing dress on it since I already cut the pattern for the lining and now by hand I had it to sew all around because there is no way I could do between the layers otherwise I had to open all the skirt and all that so I didn't want to do that so I will just uh, do what I do and here is the dress as you see the lining is on and it looks all white and now we finally can start working on the body part So here I am, this is the third day working on this redesigned wedding gown. So what I'm gonna do, um, we bought this uh, pearl lace from Kiki Textile and we gonna do pleated um, lace top and then it's gonna go all the way to the waist and then we are gonna sew some curls so we have this view from a lot of pearls and a little bit and nothing so um, yeah so let's have fun to create these small pleats was not easy task because the beads are very heavy and we're pulling all the fabric down so i had to add pins every single pleat on every two three inches to make sure it stays on and then after i finished i had to do small stitches with needle and thread as well and now after we finish the top part i'm gonna start cutting these cute little butterflies and start applying on the body part as you see i'm applying butterflies 3d flowers and the sequins that she used to have i didn't sew yet all by hand because i wanted to kind of like apply flowers and since i will hand sew it it will be on and at the same time i will have to finish the edges by hand so this is so far my progress right now so today is a third day and as you see i made the pattern for um, the sleeves so we're gonna try on the sleeves and see um, how that is gonna work and then i add some like of flowers and butterfly just kind of like see how it's gonna look we'll see if she wanted to add up something of the sequence so we can match with the bottom and then when everything is done we're gonna add more flowers and also we're gonna add some butterflies on the tail so i am so excited so let's get started so I did finish one strap to see how it's gonna look and we'll add some butterflies. So far it's perfect, we just need to do some changes and I'm gonna start working again. So this is our fifth day. So as you see, I sew some bits here and then here I start to sew teeny tiny butterflies. And now I'm just gonna try to pin all these butterflies and see how everything works and i will have to finish all this here 
I had so much fun adding all these cute butterflies and flowers and some sequins and playing with them and I really love so far how the transformation works and I can't wait to see the final result so we can see it on the bride. Stay tuned to the end so you can see the final look. Hello, hello! I don't even know what day is today and how many days I'm working on this dress but uh, here what I'm doing and my progress so I'm sewing uh, the teeny tiny butterflies and then sequins and a 3d flower so our goal is to make like more up here then less on the skirt and then down there is gonna be uh, only like teeny tiny butterflies so today is Friday 1st March and uh, tomorrow is her third fitting and I'm not ready yet. I'm just not ready yet because I did not finish the veil I supposed to start and I did not start on the sleeves. So I think it's going to be a long night. So stay with me. <laughs> I think it's totally worth it and it's going to be so pretty. So let's get started. It was so much handwork that I decided to take a break and start working on the veil. So the veil is going to be very wide so I just cut exactly the length I needed and now I just need to finish and cut exactly the same um, uh, round shape at the edge and then we can start working actually on the veil and making it. The veil is so poofy and it's so cute. Now the hardest time is to sew and apply all the butterflies. I also added some horse hair at the edge so it will give some volume. And so far this is our veil and I am so excited to start sew the butterflies. After I pinned the butterflies, I sewed them. I did not put them a lot. I just want to double check with the customer if she loved it or she want more to add. It's 12 a.m. and I'm still finishing the veil. And as you see right here. So I did sew a little teeny tiny butterflies at the edge. And the dress is not finished yet, so yeah, I don't know, should I stay a little more or should I wake up earlier? Okay. I did woke up earlier and start working on the sleeves. I totally forgot I had to do the sleeves, so I did the sleeves in a little pleats, I pressed them and sew by hand the edges and then I sew the sleeves. I did do two options, one with simple and one with the pearl one. So I want to make sure to see which one she like it more and then we can start working next. Good morning! So today is 2nd March and I did stay a little later but I did woke up at 5.30 to finish the dress and as you see the upper part is all done. Yay! Uh, we still need to add some butterflies on the bottom, but that's okay. We still have time until April. And I'll also um, add teeny tiny butterflies on the veil and on the edges. I want to see if she wants to add some like pearls or if she wants to add anything on it or... So yeah. So today we're gonna uh, check with her, she's coming today and I'm so excited she is coming with her mom and sister which is exciting so we can hear our opinion too and yeah so let's see how today goes. So this is the veil and somewhere there are butterflies and this is I still have to add some butterflies more, but yeah. I'll be
be honest, when I saw the dress on her, it's totally different wherever you see on a mannequin. I was so excited, especially when we add the veil. She loved it so much because it was so fluffy. Of course, we still need to add more beading and butterflies, but as a fitting, it was perfect look at that dress and that is not the end we still need to add the sleeves that i am still working on she did love the one with pearls so i am so excited also to show you this is our accessory that i made for her as well so this is our part one video i didn't want to make too long so you wouldn't get bored but stick with me with part two where you're gonna see the final look with the final veil with detachable sleeves i think it's gonna be stunning and this is a reminder for you brides don't stick always with something what you can find at the store sometimes you can buy something uh, simple and transform it into like couture style i am very excited to finish this project and maybe this project will inspire you too and um just upcycle dresses why not you can do so much with them thank you so much for watching this video stick to the next one and i think you will be uh, hopefully impressed and I will really appreciate if you would comment and let me know what you think about the video and the project that I worked. Thank you so much.